Welcome to SkyMet. Uh, let's have an insight into the polar vortex. A large portion of United States, it was crushed with a blast of Arctic air last week. The temperatures, they dipped, dipped to even minus 30 to minus 40 degrees centigrade at many places. It was literally, it was frozen. All this happened uh, with polar vortex. Now we see how it happens. The polar vortex, it's a, actually a swirling air. It's extremely cold air, moving in anti-clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere. It's actually confined to just to the poles, very close to the poles. And it's carried by a strong westerly jet stream around the globe. It's a very, very stable feature normally, but then it gets disrupted on few occasions. And there are some reasons for that to get disrupted and cause this Arctic blast. There is a large variability in the temperature profile in the atmosphere. The temperatures, they, they in, decrease with height as we go in the troposphere till we reach an isothermal layer. And thereafter in the stratosphere, the temperatures, they start increasing. Means there is a colder pool here over the poles and in the stratosphere, there is a warmer pool. The moment these two, they get aligned on some occasion, this warm air from the stratosphere, it intrudes, it disrupts this polar vortex and it comes down. It comes down in the lower latitudes. And the wet jet stream, which was very, very stable, very, very straight, that also meanders. It takes a wavy shape. It develops some kinks and cracks. Through those openings, the extremely cold air that travels to the lower latitudes. And this is what causes the Arctic blast. It doesn't end here. Over the United States or Canadian region, across Atlantic, it travels to Europe also. Across Europe, it travels further to Central Asian region. The colder air or the very cold condition which over the Indian subcontinent are being experienced nowadays, it's an offshoot of this polar vortex. This travels around the globe and it takes almost a week or 10 days or at times even beyond that to complete its journey and before it finally diminishes. That's the update on polar vortex. Thank you. Keep watching for further updates.